Welcome to Easy Biology. Artery. This is a blood vessel that carries blood away from the heart and it always carries oxygenated blood other than pulmonary artery. Pulmonary artery is the only artery that carries deoxygenated blood. Other than this, all arteries carry oxygenated blood. This pulmonary artery takes deoxygenated blood from heart to the lungs. Arteries have thick muscular walls because they have to bear high pressure. They have small passageways means small lumen. As we have just seen in this diagram that this lumen is much smaller than a vein. And it contains blood under high pressure because the blood is directly being pumped from the heart. So that's why it's under higher pressure. The plural for artery is arteries and the largest artery of your body is aorta. This is the structure of the artery. You should be able to identify the artery and the vein by looking at their diagrams. Then we have another blood vessel called vein. This carries blood towards the heart. And this always carries deoxygenated blood other than pulmonary vein. So pulmonary vein works like an artery as it carries oxygenated blood. Other than this, all veins carry deoxygenated blood, means the one that does not have oxygen in it. And these veins have thin walls as we can clearly see in this diagram over here. It has a large passageway for blood. Passageway refers to internal lumen and you can see how it has a large lumen as compared to the artery. It contains the blood under low pressure. So, as the blood is returning back from the body, back to the heart, so it is definitely under low pressure because there is no power that is pushing it. Veins have valves to prevent blood from flowing backwards. These valves are just like doors that close when the blood passes through and they close to stop the blood from flowing backwards. And we have another blood vessel called capillaries. They are found in the muscle and the lungs. They are microscopic, means they are only one cell thick, so they can be seen by a microscope only, because they are microscopic. They have very low blood pressure, where gas exchange takes place, oxygen passes through the capillary wall and into the tissues, while carbon dioxide and any other waste passes from tissues to the blood. These capillaries are narrow and they have thin walls. These thin walls allow rapid diffusion of substances. The walls of capillary are just one cell thick as we just studied. That's why they allow the exchange of molecules between the blood and body's cell. Substances can move by the process of diffusion. This exchange of molecule is not possible across the walls of other types of blood vessels. For example, arteries and veins have thick walls as compared to capillaries, so substances cannot be exchanged between artery and the cell or veins and the cell. They can only be exchanged between the capillary and the cell. Capillaries form extensive network so that every cell is near a capillary carrying blood. Extensive means very complicated. Here is a complete structure. So, from the heart, 
oxygenated blood is carried by artery this artery further splits into arterioles as you can see this artery is splitting then these arterioles further divide to form capillaries then some of these capillaries join to form venule and when all of these venules join a vein is formed and this vein carries the blood back to heart you can see artery divides to form arterioles arterioles divide to form capillary then capillary join to form venules and venules join to form vein please subscribe my channel thank you